is a restless hen in the hen house. All the other hens are scrambling to feed and lay eggs. They're already used to life in the coop, but Lisa the hen is determined to get out and hatch her own babies. But on the chicken farm, it was a dream that could never be fulfilled. That day, Lisa told her best friend Fat Bird. She had been on a hunger strike for three days. She was going to play dead and escape from the yard. Chubby advised her not to do anything stupid. It's so nice here. All she had to do was lay eggs, but Lisa passed out from hunger. When she woke up, she found herself thrown into the back of the hill by the farmer. The world outside is wide and free, but it's full of danger. Soon, a weasel has set its sights on her, and the next thing she knew, it was pouncing on her. Lisa had to run as fast as she could. Just as she was about to become the weasel's dinner, a green-headed duck came down from the sky. He kicked it straight in the face. The cart plunged to the bottom, just in time to trap the weasel. Lisa was able to escape. Maybe it was meant to be, though it crossed racial lines. But Lisa fell in love with this melancholy and handsome duck man. Along the way, Lisa took the initiative to introduce herself. When she said she was from a farmyard, it seemed to touch the deepest scars of Mr. Duck's heart. Lisa just looked at him. She didn't know what to do with her silent back. The next day, Lisa was looking for a place to live. She met a fat otter. He's a well-known real estate agent. After a short conversation, Lisa realized that Mr. Duck had asked the otter to find her a good place to live. The feeling of being cared for by Mr. Duck warmed Lisa's heart. A good house is tailor-made. After much deliberation and analysis by the sloth, Lisa was finally settled in a rosebush. The shrubs around the house provide protection. The scent of the flowers also masks Lisa's scent. Weasels can't track her down, and so Lisa has a new home. Lisa's next task was to find a date. Lisa thought she would be able to woo the duck man of her choice. But before she had a chance to say hello, a beautiful white female duck appeared, shattered all her illusions. It turns out that Mr. Duck has a family. They looked very much in love. Lisa's heart was instantly broken. She had to put her feelings for Mr. Duck away in silence. That night, an uninvited guest sneaked into the bush. Soon the silence of the night was shattered by the sound of a miserable scream. It was a weasel that had attacked Mrs. Duck, the same one that attacked Lisa earlier. Mr. Duck, who was hunting for food in the river, when after her without a second thought. But it was not enough to change the fact that the duck had fallen into the wolf's mouth. And so Mr. Duck lost his wife. On the other hand, Lisa arrived at Mr. Duck's house at the sound of his voice. She gently plucked the feathers from the nest. Inside was an egg that hadn't hatched yet. Motherly, Lisa decided to stay and incubate the baby duck. A sad Mr. Duck saw Lisa hatching the egg in the nest. Mr. Duck didn't send Lisa away. He looked at the reed fluttering in the wind and pondered. But hatching eggs is much more difficult than you think. Lisa had to endure not only loneliness, but also hunger. But despite all this, Lisa never left the house. Late that night, there was a fierce fight in the distance. Mr. Duck had found a weasel out for food. The weasel hadn't got anything this time, but he's bound to come back. It was time to make a clean break. The next day, Mr. Duck brought some food to Lisa. He told her that the full moon would be the day when the ducklings would break out of their shells. But it was also the time when the weasel came out to feed. When the baby duck is born, must take him over the woods to the east to the wetlands, and that Lisa would make a great mother chicken. At this point Lisa had no idea what Mr. Duck's words meant. The day of the full moon, the weasel is out hunting again. Mr. Duck has been lurking for a long time too. He swoops down on the weasel. A fight to the death was about to take place. The sounds of the fight startle the whole bush. Lisa can only watch as Mr. Duck is taken. The law of the jungle is cruel. Lisa breaks down and cries. When she rushed back to the nest, she found the baby duck had broken out of its shell. The ducklings ran towards Lisa with unsteady steps. The duckling was in Lisa's arms and kept calling out for its mother. Lisa's eyes filled with tears of sadness and joy. She decided to take the duckling with her and live on. Perhaps this was the best thing she could do for Mr. Duck. Since then Lisa has been raising her ducklings on her own. And as Mr. Duck had told her to do before he died, she took the duckling to the woods to the east. After a long journey through the woods, mother and child arrived at the wetland that Mr. Duck had mentioned. It was a much more beautiful place. There are many small animals living there, especially for the ducklings. It's a fairy tale paradise. And look, a frog draws him in. The frog takes a graceful step, and then he leaps into the water with a perfect three and a half turn. A duckling who has never seen the world before. Everything looks strange. Lisa, returning from her hunt finds the duckling in the middle of the water. She was at a loss for words. And that's when the duckling fell into the water. Lisa's mind went blank. She rushed towards the duckling without a second thought. But as a chicken, she couldn't swim at all. After a few flutters, she sank into the water. Luckily, the otter managed to get her to shore in time. When she woke up, she was still intent on saving the duckling. She found the duckling playing on the water. Lisa couldn't believe what she was seeing. She had never taught him how to swim. He had taught himself how to swim. The water sloth said helplessly, ducks are born to swim. What's so strange about that? But Lisa didn't care about that. My son is the best. Lisa learns from the otter that the duckling is a green-headed duck. So Lisa gave it a nice name. Anna. Little by little Anna grew up. She started to have a little mind. When she played with her friends, everyone said that Anna didn't look anything like her mother, and teased his mother about having a broken flower on her tail. Only a fool would do that. Anna was furious. He wouldn't allow people to mock his mother like that, so he gave them a good beating. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Until that day, Anna also saw the difference between herself and her mother. The shape of their paws was clearly different. From that moment on, he had a thought in his mind. Maybe he wasn't really his mother's child. It wasn't long before the neighbors complained to the otter. Lisa's voice was too loud. Anna didn't get on well with their children either. Everyone wanted to get rid of the new mother and child. Just as the otter was calming everyone down, Lisa suddenly appeared. She greeted the neighbors with enthusiasm. But everyone shied away from her to get closer to Anna. Lisa wants to learn how to swim. But how can she do that with just two leaves? Besides, her feathers get wet when she gets wet. Chickens and ducks are different species. Their habits are completely different. The water sloth and advised her that it would be better for her to return to the farm. But Lisa was determined not to go back. She would stay here with Anna no matter what. It was then that Lisa realized that everyone hated her. She sat by the river alone, lost, in addition to being discriminated against by the neighbors. Even Anna was ashamed of her behavior. Anna said, no one wants to play with me. It's all because of you. And so Anna left without a backward glance. Before she knew it, she was walking near the farm, unsuspecting. Anna was caught by the farmer, a wild duck on his doorstep. The farmer doesn't let him get away easily. Luckily, this time, the little fat bird recognized Anna. She flew to the swamp. She told Lisa about Anna's capture. Lisa then ran towards the farm. No matter what, she couldn't let Anna repeat what had happened to Mr. Duck. While the farmer was holding scissors, ready to cut off Anna's wings. At the sound of Anna's cries, Lisa's maternal instincts were instantly triggered. She leapt up and scratched the farmer. The otter took the opportunity to open the cage in the chicken house. All the hens on the farm were released. The farm was in chaos. Lisa takes advantage of the chaos and escapes with Anna. On the way home, Anna feels guilty for her reckless behavior. But how could Lisa blame him? Just as she was checking Anna for injuries, the annoying weasel reappears. Lisa tried desperately to protect Anna. The weasel soon attacked again. Its sharp claws knocked Lisa off her feet in an instant. Then it turned its sharp gaze on Anna. Anna could only try her best to escape. But the red rope beneath her feet became entangled in the vine. She managed to break free, but fell into a yard. He had no way to escape and was defenseless. And the weasel is closing in. In the nick of time, Lisa rushed down the rocky slope. She sends the weasel flying with her buttocks. With Lisa's guidance, Anna fled to the hole in the tree, and the weasel was right behind her. To give Anna more time to escape, Lisa decided to block the exit with her own body. She was knocked off her feet by the speed of the weasel. She fell off the cliff and hung in midair. The weasel's target is still Anna. Anna is pushed to the edge of the cliff. He had to flee to another dead tree. The moment the weasel pounces on him, the tree breaks with it, and then they both fell off the cliff. The weasel grabbed the edge of the cliff. He escaped death, but Anna fell straight down the cliff. Lisa was heartbroken at the loss of her child, but no one could have imagined. Anna had miraculously learned to fly. He soared through the air with his powerful wings, time and again. Her mother defended herself against all odds. Anna's painful heart was healed, whether they were related or not. She decided that Lisa was her mother. In the late autumn and early winter of that year, a flock of wild ducks flew in from the north, disrupting Lisa and Anna's quiet life. As an adult, Anna has a natural affinity for her people, and Lisa finally understood Mr. Duck's reason for bringing her to the wetlands. She encourages Anna to say hello to everyone, but when the ducks saw the human red rope tied to his feet, they all think he's suspicious and avoid him. After all, he was still a stranger to the flock. Anna is heartbroken at being left out by her fellow ducks, and a child's heart is always in her mother's eye. Lisa then told Anna the story of his father. While Anna was resting, Lisa pecked the red string on his foot with her mouth. Little by little, even though the peck hurt her mouth, she didn't complain, but she still could get the class fun done. We might as well think of it as Anna's mark, so that no matter where her son goes, she'll be able to recognize him at a glance. On the other side, the ducks are about to have a flying competition. The winner will become the new captain of the guard. To carry on her father's wish before he died, Anna is also taking part in the competition. At first, none of the ducks are interested in him. They all think that Anna, who is from an unknown background, will lose. But what could they have foreseen? Anna's flying skills were so good, won the competition. She became the new captain of the flock. Seeing her son return to the flock. Lisa was overwhelmed with relief, but at the same time, she knew in her heart, Anna had a mission to fulfill. She could no longer be with her all the time, but as a mother, she knew that there will come a time when a child can leave her parents to create their own world, so she chose to leave in silence begs the patriarch to go and say goodbye to her mother. On his way to find his mother, he found his companion being attacked by a weasel. So he rushed to save his companion. But he rolled down the hill with the weasel. The cunning weasel took advantage of the situation and caught Anna. At that moment, Lisa suddenly appeared. It turned out that just now, she had accidentally come into the cave and found a group of young pups with their eyes barely open, seeing that the parents were not there. So she stayed and looked after them. The normally fierce weasel now looks frightened. Lisa then realized that this was the weasel's lair to save her children. Lisa 
had no choice but to grab one of the cubs. Lisa threatened the weasel to let Anna go. The weasel became frightened. Lisa and the weasel were just two mothers on different sides to protect their children. In the end, they reach a reconciliation. It is a law of nature that the weak are stronger than the strong. Everything in this world has a purpose. The time has come for the ducks to leave. Anna is sad to leave her mother behind. Lisa, on the other hand, kept all her reluctance to herself. She didn't want to be a burden to Anna. She wanted her son to go and see the world for her. Anna also promised her mother that she would to be the highest and bravest duck to fly. Mother and son embraced each other with tears in their eyes. They said their last goodbyes. And then, Anna flew high into the sky. But what he didn't know was that his mother would not wait for his return. Lisa knew she didn't have much time. In the last moments of her life, she willingly became food for the weasel so that the weasel's cubs could survive.